Welcome to Tesla Tech Central, in today's video I will be discussing and sharing why the new Tesla 4680 battery is destroying competition. Before we get started on the video, I would just like to welcome you to Tesla Tech Central, this is a channel where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk related and whatever else we think is interesting. You'll be able to find news surrounding all of the Tesla 2021 vehicles including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi. As this a new channel, I would really appreciate it if you could please like and subscribe, also I just wanted to announce I will be doing a giveaway of $20 to a random subscriber, so to enter all you have to do is be subscribed and that $20 could be yours. Now let's carry on with the video. Do you know the reason the EV1 never really took off? It was not because it was an electric car, or that GM hated the idea, or that everything about it was in many ways more practical. It was because the battery tech they were using was more than ancient. GM initially used lead acid as the power source, and nickel metal hydride was next in line. However, we all know the story that ultimately led to the demise of the car. Decades later, we finally found a new hero, Elon Musk. He put an end to the dispute of having a viable electric car. With Tesla pushing the automotive market to rethink EV, battery technology has also needed to change drastically. The new Tesla tablet battery proves that we are still searching for the ideal power source, but we are close. I want to share a few reasons why I like the Tesla battery and its contribution to a sustainable EV future. The first reason is the energy density. The 4680 battery cell, it is a single unit, is 46 mm wide and 80 mm tall. The greater overall size allows for more electrical energy storage, five times the energy storage compared to the 2170 battery used in the production of the Model 3 and Y so what does five times more energy storage mean? In short, the number one fear of a consumer has been range anxiety or the fear of running out of power. This anxiety type is very different from that of running out of gasoline because those stations are everywhere. Tesla has done amazing things with the supercharging network. A gas station on every corner curbs the anxiety better than a supercharger in strategic locations. Five times more energy means less range anxiety and more drive time. It means fewer stops on a road trip and a more enjoyable experience. The next reason is the improved cell structure and design. What has held battery advancements back for a very long time is overthinking cell design and structure. With all the different variations of batteries out there, Tesla opted to refine an existing platform. The 4680 battery is not only more prominent, but the internal structure is different. The laser-patterned shingles offer a shorter path for electrons to flow. Even though you have a larger cell, you have a battery with more power both in and out, resulting in short and charge time. I am into the evolution of batteries so much because they are giving us a viable solution to transportation over petroleum products. Solid state batteries are still, in my opinion, the next big thing. Still, for now, the improvements made with this particular 4680 battery are getting us one step closer to a less petroleum dependent environment. I love the thought of one day having an ultra-fast car that charges in 10 minutes and can take me 1,000 miles. That road is really not that far off. The next reason is the environmental impact. One of the worst things about battery production is the environmental impacts. I agree. Mining for cobalt and making batteries is a dirty business, but it does not have to be that way forever. The good thing about the new 4680 batteries is they are less harmful to the environment. Telsa wants to eliminate the use of cobalt and make the battery at least 90% recyclable. The actual process of producing the 4680 battery is less cumbersome. Pair that with water reduction efforts in the process, and you get a better battery that is big in savings. When Tesla unveiled its new 4680 battery cell at last September's Battery Day event, it described the new cell as a massive breakthrough that could enable the production of a new generation of much cheaper EVs. Tesla is believed to be producing the cells on a pilot line at its Fremont plant, but is also working with battery suppliers. Panasonic and LG have both accepted the invitation to the party. However, some industry experts see difficulties on the way to mass producing the new cells. 
There are significant technological issues to get past, issues that many in the industry have been trying to tackle for years, Wood Mackenzie analyst Ram Chandrasekharan told Bloomberg. If achievable, these battery cells would be groundbreaking. But the jury's still out on whether they're deliverable. Panasonic says it can get the job done, and is currently working on a prototype production line. Producing these larger cells requires you raise your craftsmanship one or two full levels or there will be safety issues, Yasuaki Takamoda, Panasonic's EV battery head, told Bloomberg, and added that his company's proven safety systems absolutely give us an upper hand here. Many of the advantages of the new 4,680 cells compared to the 18,650 and 2,170 cells Tesla is currently using have to do their larger size, which would reduce the need for components used to connect individual cells. The larger capacity, however, may also make the cells more difficult to produce. They are prone to overheating, because it's difficult to disperse heat from their center, and are also more susceptible to particle contamination which can cause a short circuit leading to a fire, Takamoda explained. Compared to other EV battery producers, Panasonic has been building scale more. Slowly, expanding production only at a pace at which it can maintain safety standards. The company has been mass-producing Li-ion EV batteries since 2010, and currently produces some 2.5 billion cells a year without major safety issues, and Takamoda believes it will have a competitive advantage in producing the 4,680 cells. Elon Musk acknowledged the difficulty of mass producing the 4,680 cells in a speech at a battery conference last November. Tesla had produced the new cell at a bench-top level, and was working to progress to pilot plant level, but scaling up the production process is much harder than proving something out on a lab bench. Working with a partner like Panasonic that has extensive experience in large-scale cell manufacturing will boost the likelihood of Tesla achieving the targets the company outlined at its Battery Day event, wrote Bloomberg NEF analyst James Frith. To conclude, the Tesla 4680 battery is a significant step in the right direction. I do believe that solid-state batteries are the more sustained answer. Still, I applaud Elon and the Tesla team for taking the action required to make better batteries. Right now these batteries are a viable solution until solid-state batteries can be produced commercially. According to Elon, in that time we may see this battery compete in the same bracket at solid-state. Time will tell. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. I would really appreciate it if you do this as it really helps support the channel. On this channel we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk related and whatever else we think is interesting. You'll be able to find news surrounding all of the Tesla 2021 vehicles including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi if you are subscribed with notifications on. Until next time, see you later.